Hey everybody, so this is a tutorial about a geometry node to make radial symmetry. So basically I use it uh, a lot for, for doing those kind of pairs that might be fun to use for other things too. So I'm gonna go into the details of what or the difference between the basic way to make, to use that stuff and how it works here. So usually you're gonna to have the other effect. Uh, usually you're gonna use an array modifier with like an object offset, mostly uh, an empty. And when you change the count, for example, I've changed uh, to five to four here. I need to move that the offset again to have like my perfect rotation. And this one we don't re really care. I forgot to put the right input, so it's five, but that's not five. So if I take my stuff here, I'm going to my input, I'm going to change it and it change automatically. So we're going to build that one. It's very simple. So I'm going to create uh, a random, we can create any geometry and we're going to kind of kind of plane, please. I'm going to take a Nico Strayer, for example, just scale it down a bit and I'm going to put her here. Uh, Keep in mind that when comparing those two, like this is the center offset and here uh, the offset center is your origin, your geometry origin. So if you change the origin, uh, if I go to option origin, if I change it, not into edit mode, it's gonna move like if I were moving that one. I need to go. Okay. So it that's your origin who control your stuff and that make it very easy to to use your model and to put it on your model. I'm gonna show you it after. You can I'm gonna show it now. You can just use a snap to face and with control you can snap it. And you have like a, you can make a flower or spike, I can I don't know, do what you want. I'm gonna go into the node now and we're gonna just offset a little bit this sphere so that we can see what happened. I'm gonna use the geometry node tab here into another windows, add a geometry node, name it a, a good name. And we're gonna use the duplicate elements. I'm using Blender 3.2, so you should have it too. Uh, it's not the latest, it's not like the newest too. So duplicate element, and it's not gonna work. I'm in edit mode. Uh, we're gonna duplicate instances. So because it's instances and this is a geometry, we're gonna use geometry to instances. If I can try to type correctly. And you can see it appear. Again, after that, we're gonna use a rotate instances. And basically that allows us to rotate our instance, but you can see when I click the amount of duplication, there is nothing happening. That's because you, you need to have a relation between the indexes of those instances and your rotation. Uh, as you can see, we wanted to rotate on the z-axis. So we want to isolate that z-axis. I'm going to use a combine x, x, y, z, drag and drop, poof, and it's here. And I can just have that value change. Uh, not the pivot point, rotation, my bad. Okay, that's good. 
I'm gonna give me some more space here and I'm gonna put that one with a free space because I have some spaces in my node. You can arrange it however you like. Uh, it's, it's it's not gonna make a difference. So to have a relation between our index and our rotation, I'm gonna use a math node. I'm gonna plug my index into that. I'm gonna put it to multiply and I'm gonna put it into Z. Okay, and you should have, if I take like another amount, we should have a rotation that is different between each object. Because basically it's using how index works, it's like it's gonna name one, zero, one, two, three, four, and it's gonna multiply each number to another angle. If, if our angle is that number, it's gonna multiply it two times for index two, one time for index like one and zero for index zero. So that's why you have that rotation, if it makes sense. Um, why it's not like if I put 90, it's gonna not be on an angle. Why is that? It's because we are working in radial, uh, which is another unit for angles uh, when you use those combines. So we're gonna use radian to now. If you don't know what is radian, basically pi is 150 degrees and tau is double pi is 360 degrees. So we want a we don't want to calculate each time uh, the right angle. So basically, the right angle gonna if I have four, the right angle gonna be nine. Uh, pi divided by 2, I can remember the exact number, I can just show with 2, I've type pi, the exact angle is pi, but we don't want to calculate every time that angle, so we just need to divide tau for so the all 360 degree by the amount of duplicate. So basically I'm just gonna use an integer here, just Right now, we're gonna put into in the group input later. But basically, we want to have both our, our um, both our amount and uh, the divide be together. So I'm gonna duplicate that one, input into here, and I'm gonna use a divide. We want 360 degree, which is tau or two pi to be divided by the number of duplicate elements. So pi divided by two gonna give you, uh, two pi divided by two gonna give you pi, and that's the angle we want. And if I have more instances, it's gonna work just fine and easy. Okay. So now I'm gonna just Shift, uh, right click, drag to have a, re a reroute node. And now I can put that one into here. Uh, I'm gonna press N and change the name. You call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna just remove the negative values and like make a max of 60 to not like, if you have like uh, heavy, heavy polygons and stuff. Uh, it's not, it's gonna work. It's not gonna crash your computer because you have too much geometry. That's what I wanted to say. I'm gonna take a sip of tea. So that node, like, like in my other tutorial, we, you can group it uh, with control J, control J. I never remember that stuff. And you can name it uh, duplicate, I guess. Yeah, you can name it however you like. And you have basically that node you can use in a larger node if you want, if you need it. Uh, one thing it's which is can be good to export is the duplicate index uh, if you want, if you need it. Uh, I'm not gonna show it into this tutorial what it can do with such stuff. 
because it's a quick one, but it should be fine. And here you have it, like uh, your queen, no, your clean group, uh, with your relay symmetry. And if you want to add it, if you watch my tutorials on the air stuff, uh, this is, I guess, the same node I used back then for the tutorial. So basically, the collection into a curve to mesh set materials and stuff, and using select object yep so basically I'm gonna just search for my duplicate radial and input it here I'm gonna duplicate the source the input and put the amount to count because I already have a count and basically I just import your node and put it just after the rest of the node and you have your hair setup, you can, it can work with every node, you have your radial symmetry very easily. And you can make that kind of hair shape like I did if you want. It's very easy, very fun to play with. So hopefully that tutorial was interesting and, and that it's a very quick one. If you want to support me, you can, I actually buy, I, I, actually sell those miniatures so I sell the STL models for you to you to print I have a pattern and a tribe so if you pay for this month you basically have these girls and a bunch of other girls I know it's still in already late in the month uh, that's gonna go out on on a kickstarter later anyway or my mini factory in the shop again a bit later too but if you want to to stop at me I have something back you can use and print and play with you can both those girls so that's it for today i guess i hope i have some time to make another tutorial about what a lot of people ask is like this curve modifier uh, tutorial uh, it's gonna take a lot of preparation because i did that a long time ago from different sources and i want to make it easier to understand and what why I do what I do from using that node, but that unlocks so many things you can make with geometry nodes after. Uh, again, for like if you want to create uh, a, an asset library and stuff. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna come out next month. Hopefully it's the amount of how, how much work I have. I take my my asset here. You see I have a, a bunch of air assets. Um, I have your basic one. Uh, if you want my new shape I use, you can just screen grab and use it. Uh, by the way, I use on my shape the air cube shape, the, the radial symmetry too. Uh, just to have a duplicate, have that kind of shape easy. Uh, again, you can it can use it can be used from, to make a braid, uh, curly hairs like that. Uh, not dread, it's not useful, but that one was useful too, to make flat hairs. Uh, that's gonna unlock a lot of things, like also, I mean, if you want to make the same rebound stuff I make, that's gonna unlock basically that. So hopefully it's gonna come next month, so subscribe if you want to, <laughs> to watch it, and hopefully it's gonna be done soon. So bye everybody and hopefully next video or stream. I don't know when I'm gonna stream because I need to, well anyway, you don't need to know. Bye.